நண்பர்களே உங்கள் எல்லோருக்கும் வணக்கம் இந்த நாட்டின் நதிகளை இணைக்க முடியுமா முடியாது என்று சொல் சொல்லுவதில் தான் நம் நாட்டில் ரொம்ப அதிகம் இதில் மாணவர்கள் எத்தனை பேர் இருக்காங்க பார்ப்போம் லிஃப்ட் யுவர் ஹேண்ட் மாணவர்கள் 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 எல்லாரும் மாணவர்களா ஓகே மாண்பு மிகு திரு சுதர்ஷன் நாச்சியப்பன் அவர்கள் திரு காமராஜ் அவர்கள் மேடையில் இருக்கும் பெரியோர்கள் நண்பர்களே மதுரை மாநகரத்து மக்களே மாணவ மாணவிகளே வணக்கம் உங்கள் எல்லாருக்கும் உங்களுக்கு கரிகாலன் தெரியுமா கரிகாலன் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் கரிகாலன் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் தமிழ்நாட்டில் கல்லணை கிடையாது உண்மையா இது உண்மைதான கரிகாலன் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் தமிழ்நாட்டில் கல்லணை கிடையாது பிரிட்டிஷ் ஏகாதிபத்தி எதிர்க்க முடியாது என்று காந்தியடிகளும் சுதந்திர போராட்ட வீரர்களும் நினைத்திருந்தால் நமக்கு சுதந்திரம் கிடைத்திருக்காது இதெல்லாம் உண்மைதானே ஏ சார் நோ சி சுப்பிரமணியமும் எம் எஸ் சுவாமிநாதனும் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் இந்தியா உணவு உற்பத்தியில் தன்னிறைவு அடைந்திருக்காது உண்மையா நம்ம கொரியன் சார் இருக்காரு அவர் கொரியன் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் இந்தியா வெண்மை புரட்சி அடைந்திருக்காது விக்ரம் சாராபாய் என்னுடைய குரு விக்ரம் சாராபாய் முடியாது என்று நினைத்திருந்தால் இன்று செயற்கோளை இந்தியா ஏவி இருக்க முடியாது முடியாது என்று நோய் நம்மிடம் பல பேரிடம் அதிகமாக உள்ளது அது ஒரு நோய் அது முடியும் என்று நம்பும் மனிதனால் மனிதனால் தான் வரலாறு படைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது முடி முடியும் என்பவர்களால் தான் வரலாறு படைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது எனவே நண்பர்களே முடியும் என்ற நம்பிக்கை கொண்ட ஐம்பத்தி நாலு கோடி இளையர் இளையர் சமுதாயம் இந்திய நதிகளை இணைக்க முடியும் என்ற நம்பிக்கை கொண்ட இளைஞர்கள் தான் உங்களை போன்றோரின் அனுபவத்தின் துணை கொண்டு வெற்றியை காண வேண்டும் நதிகளை இணைக்க வேண்டும் என்றால் என்ன வேண்டும் முடியும் என்று நம்பிக்கை ஐ யூஸ் டு இன்ட்ராக்ட் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் வித் மிஸ்டர் ஏ சி காமராஜ் அண்ட் இஸ் டீ மெம்பர்ஸ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் த இன்டர்லிங் ஆஃப் ரிவர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்மார்ட் வாட்டர் வேஸ் நட் நாட் ஓன்லி ரிவர்ஸ் வி ஹவ் டு வாட்டர் வேஸ் ஆல்சோ வி ஹவ் டு கனெக்ட் ஸ்மார்ட் வாட்டர் வேஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் வாஸ் ப்ரப்போஸ் டு தமிழ்நாடு Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Bihar. After which Kerala Waterways program has taken a shape, it is progressing well. I used to talk in the Legislative Assembly as the President. Out of which Kerala Waterways program has taken a shape, it is progressing well. Hence, I would like to congratulate Mr. A.C. Kamraj and his team for the unshinted endeavor towards the interlink of rivers with the alternate proposal to create waterways across the country. Now, you must hear carefully why waterways i have discussed with many chief ministers in my own state that is tamil nadu so i i want to talk to you the topic selected for this conference water for all special reference to interlink of rivers in india now i will say that uh, our thing what can i share with the delegates of the conference and the young people who assembled here i would like to share with you issue of water management particularly conservation development management of water sources and also our concern for providing water for irrigation and quality potable water for all citizens of the country there are other concerns such as ecology questions of displacement of human habitat therefore my address will be for next 10 15 minutes i am going to talk to you integrated water mission what's the topic what's the topic integrated what why i said integrated water mission you are going to see that there are some who have great expectation about linking of rivers there are also some others who have a question whether this program will be a blessing for the country i would like to discuss four aspects 
with you today to madurai maanagar people you are all madurai maanagar people what is the total requirement of water for our nation for drinking purposes sanitation irrigation and other industrial uses and what the nation gets through the seasonal inputs this is the first part i'm going to discuss the second point i want to discuss with you one third of our population is affected by flood one third of population or drought every year this is the this is the history it is happening per capita per capita availability of water varies from 10 kL to 50 kL for different season and regions in our country fourth point what are the optimal ways what are the optimal ways of meeting the minimum needs of water for the entire population assuming a particular population growth rate for the country we should remember that by 2020 we have to produce approximately 400 million tons of food grain that is twice what we produce now 400 million tons of food grain and the water requirement will also go up due to population increase with this picture with this picture let us see what is the water balance idu konja hard subject uh, you have to be tolerant okay i am going to real hard subject now water balance well where water gets how we consume how it goes to flood that is water water balance india gets approximately 4000 billion cubic meter bcm india gets approximately 4000 billion cubic meter of for water of billic made 4000 billion cubic meter of water every year from all natural resources out of this out of 4000 out of these 700 bcm are lost in evaporation and another 700 are lost during the flow on ground also the large part of the water namely 1500 bcm flows into the sea due to floods thus thus if you calculate thus the remaining available water is 1100 bcm billion cubic meter 1100 bcm out of this ground water recharge accounts for 430 bcm per year and the present utilized surface water is 370 bcm the balanced unutilized water which can be harnessed is 300 bcm when you say networking of rivers we are talking about 300 bcm 300 billion cubic meter now i was studying the frequent occurrence of flood and drought flood normally affects eight major river valleys spread over 40 million hectares of area in the entire country affecting nearly 260 million people similarly the drought affects 86 million people who are spread in 14 state covering the total of 116 districts where from this flood comes where from this flood comes it comes from the 1500 billion cubic meter of water every year flowing during the monsoon season if we have to present prevent the damage due to the flood and reduce the severity of the drought we have to harness this 1500 bcm of water and distribute it to the drought affected areas we can also partly store it in proper storage system so that it can be available during non monsoon months if we succeed in doing all this we will not only save the loss arising out of the damage caused to the crops properties and people by the flood to the extent of rupees 2400 crores on an average per year we also save the recurring expenditure of 200 crores incurred by the government as a short term relief measures the question is could the question which arise are how to harness the flood water and how to regulate out out of flow flood water so that it does not go into sea and it is converted as a useful water for the 
humanity. Hence, our aim should be, what should be our aim? Our aim should be to channelize the 1500 BCM of flood water so that it can be made use for providing water to drought affected areas and make sufficient water available to the whole country during non-monsoon months through proper linking, storage and distribution. Our plan must consider that the presently the sanitation facilities are not available in more than 50% of the dwelling units in the country. Planners must take into account this aspect while selecting schemes for harnessing and distributing the water for our growing population. We may have to align our interlinking of rivers project for meeting the growing water demands of the nation by having a hybrid scheme. By having a hybrid scheme is my idea. A hybrid scheme which can harness the additional 300 BCM per year and also flood water of 1500 BCM. There is an urgent need to find a long term solution to control flood store, utilize the surplus water during drought. All the scheme chosen must be such that there is a continuous availability of an additional water for the growing population and the related needs of the nation by regulating the outflow into the sea. Now I would like to finally discuss about the possible issues arising out of this mission. The main issue which concerns certain number of people are rehabilitation and environmental upgradation. While working on such large schemes, certain amount of displacement of people is bound to happen. We should aim at minimizing dislocation. We also should consider overall impact and benefit the scheme which in this case going to benefit nearly 340 million people who are affected constantly by the floods or droughts. So adequate funds required Adequate funds required should become the component of the mission connecting water resources. I am not saying connecting rivers, connecting the water resources. Also by learning from the problems of the past necessary new mechanism have to put in place to provide facilities to those who are likely to be displaced well in advance. So hence friends we have to, my, my suggestion is similarly environmental upgradation, there are certain apprehension by environmentalists that the large scale diversion of water disturbance to the terrain may change, endanger or affect the geological ecological balance. It is therefore essential to find a solution. Naturally, I believe interlinking of the waterways they only will improve a beautiful environment is going to give. Now friends, I will say that uh, science and technology, science and technology can surely help in executing such missions. India has its own remote sensing satellite, Cartosat 1, Cartosat 2, with better than 1 meter resolution, and their application will help in large scale survey from the source river flow pattern at various seasons. Now, the, now I am coming to Tamil Nadu. Interlinking of Tamil Nadu rivers. Let me now focus on the interlinking of the rivers in Tamil Nadu. Every time, Every remember that every time Metro Dam gets filled up, most of water goes to sea. For instance, in 2005, three times Metro Dam overflowed and more than 400 TMC, 400,000 million cubic meter water went into sea. And last year in 2007, it was overflowing, possibly around 100 TMC has gone to sea. This has become a repetitive phenomenon in the change in the environment condition. One side we are saying water is not there. Another side water management.